Hey, this is Randy Velker with Simple Energy Works, and in this video we're going to be answering the question, what are the types of photovoltaic systems currently available? There's basically three types of PV systems. Uh, the first is a standalone system, uh, the second is a grid-tied system, and the third we classify as the hybrid system. Now the standalone system is the typical system that you think about when you're thinking of a photovoltaic system, and it it traditionally needs to be very large because it has to provide for 100% of the electrical usage of the house or building wherever it's situated. Um, the other thing is this type of a system needs to be able to store electricity. Um, the reason it has to store electricity is because at night um, there is not going to be any sun shining and so how are you going to get electricity in order to power your refrigerator or your lights unless you have a battery bank. So you, this, these do include a battery bank, the, the maintenance that goes along with that battery bank. The whole system, uh, when I said before it needs to be large, it's because it's sized for the worst weather conditions. So let's say you have a winter storm of three or four days. You don't want your PV system and your batteries to run completely out of energy so that your uh, lights and your refrigerator shut down on you right in the middle of the worst possible time. So uh, you have to size them taking into consideration the worst weather conditions. These systems are complex and they tend to be expensive because of that. Um, there are certain advantages to having a, a standalone PV system. You're completely self-sufficient off the grid. You're ready for the apocalypse if and when it does come. Uh, because of the complexity of, this, of the standalone system, uh, in 1978 Congress got involved and passed a law called PURPA. Um, basically the Public Utility Regulatory Policies Act. Now this required all utilities to buy any excess electricity from a PV system owner. Uh, so uh, this really opened the door um, for people to be able to uh, connect into the grid with their PV system. And so the second type of the system is a grid-tied system. It actually connects to the electrical grid and it uses the grid as a battery. Um, now this type of a system can be any size. It can start very small and be, and be expanded later on if you're interested in that. And you can sell all of your excess electricity or potentially all of your electricity to the utility who will be purchasing it. Um, now there are certain advantages to this. It's a much more simple system. Again, you can start small and expand it if you want to. It's comparatively inexpensive. You still have all the power that you want to. Um, now there are some disadvantages. What's the, what's the primary disadvantage? Um, the primary disadvantage is you're not ready for the apocalypse. You still must be connect to, connected to the grid. It's not a backup power source. If the grid goes down, your PV system as well goes down. Um, and the reason for this is because utility workers are going to be coming out working on the grid and um, you really don't want your PV system to shock or kill any of those utility workers. So in that sense they require um, that the PV system shuts down when the grid goes down. Um, the third type of a system is a hybrid PV system. It actually connects to the grid but it can also stand alone as a backup power source. It seems to be the best of both possible worlds. Um, on the other hand there are certain disadvantages. Um, if this is a complex system. Uh, you have all of the maintenance issues associated with a standalone PV system because you have all of the parts of the standalone PV system. Uh, it may not have to be as large as a standalone PV system because you don't have to size it to, to the worst weather conditions, but all of the parts of the standalone PV system are included in this system, including a battery bank um, and, those, and everything associated with that. So, these systems tend to be almost as expensive as a PV standalone system. Uh, um, now, question, why isn't everybody using the grid-tied system? Well, actually 90% of all systems installed are grid-tied systems. Um, so, people have learned that you can use the grid as your battery and avoid all of the complexity and all of the maintenance issues uh, connected with battery systems. The grid is good. The grid is good. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what. You go ahead and put your email on my uh, newsletter list, and uh, I will help you research and learn about solar. I'm not going to send you spam, junk emails, uh, but I do have some stuff that I'll send you 
immediately to get you started in your quest for information about solar. Alright, thanks.